Aside from my obsession with the Powerpuff Girls, which started when I was nine, I was never a Cartoon Network kid. So it wasn't until I was 14 that I got into the amazing world of Gumball. And yeah, it's a good show. It's primarily a comedy, but if you know me, you know my favorite part of any fiction is the characters. And this show does in fact have good characters. A character doesn't have to be deep or complex to be good, by the way. Simply being interesting and entertaining is all you need to be a good character in my books. I've been casually re-watching this show lately, manifesting a movie or a season 7, and I realize that I have some very strong feelings about Richard Watterson. <laughs> Richard is the father of Gumball, Darwin, and Anais, and also the husband of Nicole. He's a clear-cut example of the bumbling dad trope. You've all watched TV before, you've witnessed this trope. The idea behind it is that usually the man of the house, the father, is meant to be dependable and competent, so like, wouldn't it be funny if he fucking wasn't? There's also a sprinkling of the fat bastard in there, the trope in which the fat character is portrayed to be lazy, snobby, unintelligent, and in the case of season one, <laughs> <laughs> It's only funny when it's someone else's money! An asshole. I feel like there's some back and forth on whether Richard is a good father or not, and I strongly believe that he is in fact a good father, and I would defend this take with my life. I'll start off by acknowledging the opposing side. Richard is incredibly irresponsible. Let me get this straight. I asked you to finally step up as a father and set a good example for your children. And the way you interpreted that was to take them shoplifting. Childish. I have raised three kids and one husband. Far too stupid for his or anyone else's good. Well, as referee, I took every precaution I could. And six kids ended up in the hospital. Four, not you mere grown-ups. Word. Lazy. Then, at 10 o'clock, I do this. <sighs> It's important to move every three hours or so, otherwise the rat gets too bold, thinks we've croaked, and starts biting. Unemployed. Uh, boss, can I have the day off? Day off? Take the rest of the year off! You're fired! No, please! This is all I have! <laughs> Nicole, I have some bad news. <laughs> oh, yeah! And in season one, he could be a lot more selfish and inconsiderate. Oh, Richard, I think Gumball needs some attention. Maybe you should go and play Yeah, yeah. We're all very proud of you, Nicole. <sighs> Side note, season one is my least favorite season of the show. Are there people who genuinely like season one? Let me know in the comments because personally, if the whole show had been like season one, I would consider Gumball to be pretty mid. I will always adore this cartoon's massive glow up in everything. Animation, writing, humor. I can't think of another show that stepped up its game the way this one did. Anyway, as you can tell, Richard isn't quite the best role model for his children, and Nicole has to work twice as hard to provide for the family. And I understand that this is a cartoon and Richard's stupidity is meant to be played for laughs, but sometimes I genuinely feel bad for Nicole because having to put in twice as much effort to make something work is exhausting. Let's get our heads back into the clouds because real world stuff sucks. It's time to talk about Richard's upbringing. I feel like rough is a strong word, so actually his dad walked out on him. That's pretty rough. The episode The Authority, which by the way... Hold on, sweetie. Let me get that for you. <laughs> ...is hilarious. Shows that his mother, Granny Jojo, never allowed him to think for himself, sheltering and spoon-feeding him for 18 years. And while I can see where she was coming from and wanting to protect him and all, it clearly did not work out. Also, she threw him out of the house when he was an adult, so like, what was that all about? Granny Jojo isn't a great mother, but she was clearly hurt by her husband walking out on her, even though it's clear in the present day she's mostly moved on. And so was Richard, who never got to process the fact that his father abandoned him. What is father gonna say when he comes back? Father? Yeah! You said he left to buy some milk 42 years ago! He could be back any minute! Uh. Gumball is obviously a light-hearted comedy first and foremost, and this is mainly played off for jokes, but when you think about it, Richard's relationship, or rather lack thereof, with Frankie Watterson is heartbreaking. The truth is that Frankie barely gives a shit about Richard, and Richard, having not processed this for decades, thinks it's still possible to have a genuine connection. 
Like, everybody talks about this joke on social media. How about a joke? Knock, knock. Dad? What? No. <laughs> but the way he said dad is so heartbreaking. Do -do 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 -do. Commercial break! All right, time to shout out some fan art. A few weeks ago, I got this lovely piece by Baked Tater Tots on IG based on this one reel that I made in, like, December, where Prince and Princess Courier serve it into wearing their outfits. Yes, I know what the word coerce means, and I think it's funny to misuse it. I always appreciate it when people make fan art of my characters, and I love the attention to detail, like Princess having round glasses and Prince having square glasses. The expressions are super detailed too. This shit had me dead the first time I saw this, so thank you. Okay, back to the video. So as we've established, Richard has some pretty bad daddy issues. But you know what? He doesn't let that prevent him from being a good dad. Richard, in season 2 onwards, is portrayed to have a heart of gold and I have a soft spot for men who are decent people. It would be so easy for a character like Richard to be a deadbeat dad who doesn't make any contributions to raising his children, but... What happened in there? What are those things? And where are the kids? Those things are our kids, in their natural, unsupervised state. What? What have you done? Nothing. And that's what happens. Still think everything will be fine? <sighs> right. I'll deal with this. The fact that the kids respect Richard enough to be relatively behaved, well, at least not turn into gremlins in his presence, tells me a lot. We can see that he does take time out of his day to make sure his children aren't getting into trouble. To little success, but hey. He's also very protective of his kids, especially Anais, as shown in this clip. Dad, quick! Anais is trapped in the shed and we can't find the keys! Yes, I'm coming, baby! Oh, I'm coming for you! Daddy's coming! I know this was meant to make him look deranged, but my point still stands. He actually makes an effort to be part of his kids' lives and tries to keep them happy. What's up? It's Monday! I see. Do you want a hug? There's no point! Everything on Monday is crummy! What about a Wonder Hug? What's that? It's filled with all the love and happiness in the world! That sounds crummy too! <gasps> Wonder Hug! So Richard would take a bullet for his kids, but what about Nicole? He's not perfect, but I do still think that he's also a good husband. Most of the time. I could bring up the choices, and I will. Obviously, that episode shows that of every outcome Nicole could have gone with, Richard was the best. But, like, these two are actually perfect for each other. Like, Nicole was being stretched thin by her parents who weren't showing her that they cared about her or her achievements. I know, I know. I love you too. No, I was gonna say second place is first place for losers, but yeah, that too. So then she meets some guy, right? And he questions her on why she's working so hard. And she says it's because she wants people to like her. I'm pretty sure people is her parents. And Richard says, but lots of people already like you, and then blushes, which catches her off guard. She asks him what she should do with her life, and he encourages her to just start living it. He encourages her to do what makes her happy. He gives her the kind of support that she didn't have. Richard actually adores Nicole, like he legitimately thinks that she's too good for him. What's a man like you doing with a woman like her? Shh! I don't think she knows she could do better. And I do think that more often than not, they make it clear that he does his darndest to be good to her. Nicole even acknowledges him as her quote, right hand guy and the shoulder, the shoulder that, that she that cries on. on. I am obsessed with Richard and Nicole's relationship. This show writes surprisingly good romance. Other shows should take notes. In conclusion, Richard shines best when he's supporting his loved ones the kind of support that he obviously never received from his father. Despite his fuck-ups, he's a much better co-parent than we give him credit for. And I'm not over-analyzing any of this. It was 110% intentional. I'll close off the video with this. I didn't start off as a good father, but your kids, they see you as better than you are. So every day you bust your chops and try to live up to that. Thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to throw it a like and also subscribe to me because I am fighting for my life to project my voice correctly. Like you're telling me you guys can do this shit naturally? Follow me on Instagram and Tumblr and I'll see you in the next video.